Hey, this is Adam Leather for Transportation Matters. I'm here in Blainville, Quebec today, standing in front of some very interesting looking technology. I'm joined today by Jean-Sebastien Bouchard. He's an engineer with Isaac Instruments. And what our, we're talking about today is this little black box here today, which uh, just to be creative is sometimes known as a black box. It's also known as an electric onboard recorder, and we're gonna talk about it today. Jean. This is a data recorder that we put in the truck. Uh, this data recorder is installed in all the vehicles that are tested uh, today at the Nargo Test. Uh, so every Everything that the company will teach their driver over the driver training, we can measure all these parameters that they're training them to do. So everything, like for example, um, uh, brakes, uh, brakes above 80 kilometers per hour. If a driver goes through traffic, for example, and goes smoothly through traffic, he will never use the brake pedal when going above 80 kilometers per hour. If he uses the brake pedal, maybe he's following traffic too close. Uh, all the parameters we're measuring are coming from the, the CAN bus or the electronic bus of the vehicle on the vehicle, the diagnostic connector that we use to di troubleshoot the vehicle. So some other parameters we can monitor are, for example, the upshift RPM and downshift RPM. So we can tell if the guy is upshifting at 1300, 1400, 1500 RPM. And when downshifting, if he's downshifting at 1000 RPM, at 1100 RPM or 1200 RPM. And for example, when he's going uphill, is he downshifting at 1100 or 1200 RPM? How long is he holding up top gear when going up a hill? Other parameters that uh, we will monitor are, for example, boost pressure. So when a driver uses the boost pressure to drive, he's going to drive more efficiently because boost pressure is directly related to fuel consumption. Uh, by boost pressure, I mean the engine turbo boost pressure. Other parameters, uh, for example, the accelerator pedal position, when he starts from uh, rest up to 100 kilometers per hour, is he using a soft pedal technique? Is he going from 0 to 100 holding the throttle up to 100%? Or is he going 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%? So all these parameters that we're monitoring, we can create a big report or a report with scores for each driver. So on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, the driver can get back the report and that's his score, his score for the week or for the month. So it's possible now for the driver to be, uh, to be appreciated for not only what he does when he's in the office with the manager, but also for what he's doing when he's on the vehicle, driving for the company. Now, I also noticed here that we have a lot of fancy equipment. Maybe you could show me some of the things we're looking at here. Like, first of all, we've got this huge screen here, and we're looking at the testing track. We're here at the, the PMG Technologies uh, motor vehicle testing track, and we can actually watch uh, the trucks as they're making their progression around the tracker. What is this screen? How does it relate to your product? Yes, exactly. So right now, we have the data recorder installed in the vehicles with uh, cellular phone modems. So these cellular phone modems are connecting to my computer over here, and we see, can see live data from the vehicles on the screen. Right now, we see the vehicle position on a map. We can also switch to the dashboard view. With the dashboard view, I'm able to see all the parameters we're collecting in real time. And we can create custom gauges and real-time histograms like this, uh, real-time graphs like this, which allow us to track the vehicle and see what, what's going on with it as it's driving. On this computer, it shows uh, the time history that we're recording. Uh, so. All the parameters that we're recording, we're recording a, a, a basically the time history for a parameter. So as he's looping, he's got uh, wind facing front and wind facing back. So, so you can see that the fuel consumption raises when he's on one side of the stretch and it's reduced when he's going on the other side of the stretch. Counting the peaks, I can count the number of laps the truck actually did. So anything that you teach your driver to do in your driver training program, we can measure and generate a small report that will score the driver behavior. So given a day, a week, a month of performance for a driver, you can give him back his score so now he knows how well he's performed out on the field driving his truck. 